watching my Vlogmas videos, you've probably already gotten glimpses of our outdoor lights, which I've spent a lot of time putting up. And you also saw us decorate our tree. Now I finally more or less finished decorating the inside of the house and I'm ready to give you a tour. So come along with me tonight and I will show you what I've done to the inside of the house. And if you stay along to the end, I'll show you my very, very favorite part of our house which is something that I've done for the very first time this year. I finally got the courage to unpack for the very first time the North Pole and Mickey Mouse Village that Paul was given by his family when we first got married. In the past, I was always afraid that somehow Maggie was going to get to it and that it was going to be broken, but we are being very, very careful to keep it someplace where the kids can come and see it, but where it's also very, very safe. So, I wanted to share that with you because I'm really, really excited with how it turned out. So, come along with us. These are our decorations for Christmas 2018. If you watched our earlier video, you've already seen our Christmas tree, but I'm showing it again because it's definitely a big part of our decorations. It's a balsam tree, and we've added a few things to it. There's this elf that the boys found at Hobby Lobby. They both got one. It was 66% off, which made it like $4, and they're a little bit obsessed with elves because even though we don't have our own elf on a shelf, they were doing it in their classroom. Patch was doing it in his classroom, and so he's brought this elf home, and he says it is our elf. Tessie made this one today at school. I imagine she put the little ball, balls, balls in because she's really good at putting things in. For the very first year, I have actually hung our stockings. I'm not sure how long these will last being up with Tessie, but we're gonna actually give it a try. We have Sadie, Maggie, there's mine a little bit higher up. There's Patrick's, and that second one, next one is Paul's, and then this is James's, and then Tessie all together. I know we need to get Tessie one. That is at least the color scheme of the other ones. Over here we have our gingerbread man and woman who barely got taken down, I think in October from last Christmas, and they are finally back out again. They had like a two month rest. This is actually one of the Dollar Tree decorations that I found. This is the other Dollar Tree decoration, and these are actually more Dollar Tree decorations down here, as are, if you move down here, as are these. I'm kind of testing this out and seeing how Tessie does with these. And if they were glass, they would totally be broken, but she's having a ton of fun playing with them and moving them around, and so is Maggie. Maggie put them on the mantle and decorated with them. Now Tessie's brought them down here, and so this is just a little play area. You can see how it looks kind of overall, this area and how it is decorated. So this is how the living room is decorated. This is also Dollar Tree on one of the walls in the living room. And I forgot over here actually is this elf that we found today that was $24.99 regularly marked down since the boys are so into elves. Marked down 66% off at Dollar Tree that is just hanging out on a bookshelf and he's gonna move all around too with the other elves that the boys are loving so much. And then on that wall over there you can see we have a couple decorations. Those are both Dollar Tree decorations. And then as you walk in, we have these glass shelves that are up high, and I'm gonna give you an up close look at the little decorations that I have up on these shelves. So over here, I have our Nutcracker army, and then down below, I have the little tiny houses. These are our little glass ornaments, but I didn't really feel like they were that safe on the tree with our kids, with especially Tessie, so I put them up here, and they are on the back side of our advent calendar. And then over here is Santa Claus and our nativity and oh, let me turn the light on here and show this to you. It's pretty bright. That is actually a battery powered light from Dollar Tree and I very seldom have it on because it is so incredibly bright. 
and then if you come down here you see this is actually what we usually use as our advent candle wreath we have not had a chance to do it this year because maybe gets home so late at night that I just did not get the candles out even though I had them which is this is the first year that I have not had a chance to do that and then a little Santa that was always at my mom's house that made it over here and another one of those little ornaments I think that one is actually Paul's favorite this little Dollar Tree guy over here now quickly I'm going to give you this view if you look back towards the door it looks like this before I give you that up close look again at those shelves the shelf I do not have great light on I have a broken little ornament there and some of the statues a little ceramic angel I made when I was in like second grade and some candlesticks made of cranberry glass and then of course my favorite advent calendar where we have our activities planned out. Here are these little houses I got a few years ago at Hobby Lobby after Christmas when they were like super super discounted. I like to think of them as Whoville houses and the back side of the lantern with the super bright lights. This side we have a bunch of little figurines. There are these little angels, Santas, another house and bear. Those were mostly Paul's and then a little gingerbread house that I believe was mine. We have one more Dollar Tree wall hanging here and now on to my favorite part of the whole house well, a couple of the big nutcrackers wouldn't fit out there so they are guarding over those two are, these two are guarding over the Disney section of the town because this part of the town is the Disney village you can see the little people Mickey Mouse and Minnie up on the roof now these were all Paul's when he was little, and actually there's some of the little tiny Dickens Village houses in the back too. Um, these are still part of the Mickey Mouse Village that are on this side. And then right here it changes over to the North Pole. And the North Pole is my favorite part of the village. I love the North Pole Village. I think the Christmas bed, bread bakers are my favorite. This is my favorite part right here. All of us have different favorites. Sadie's favorite part is Santa right here. And yeah, these are all from Paul's mom and dad. He grew up with these, he and his brothers, and they had all these different villages, and each of his brothers got one of the villages. And these are the villages that we got. This is the first time I set them up because I was always afraid that our kids were going to break them. And finally I decided that we needed to have them out because what good were they really doing in boxes with no one appreciated them. I appreciated them. And the kids were so excited. And over here we have the Rat King. So Paul was a little nervous but I set it up so it's back in the fenced off area so the kids can come back and look at it and enjoy it and marvel at it but at the same time it's as safe as it can possibly be, where they can only see it when they're supervised. So, that is the village. So that was it. Those are our decorations for this year. I'm pretty excited. After moving many, many times, living in little apartments and being afraid that Maggie was going to break everything, having Maggie break everything, it's really, really exciting for us to be at a point where we can really decorate now and where Maggie actually enjoys the decorations, she gets excited about the decorations, and although Tessie is at a point where all the delicate decorations have to be high enough that she can't hurt them, she at least isn't at a point where she's climbing everything to actually get to them and break them. That is it for today. If you enjoyed this video, we would love it if you'd hit that like button. And if you are new here, or if you haven't subscribed yet, if you're interested in staying updated with our family and with all things autism, we would love it if you would hit that subscribe button. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.